How are you ensuring you have a measurable and lasting impact on the lives of your beneficiaries? With Light Mountain, with, we've really focused this year on trying to meet the needs of consumers. So we've adapted to make our stoves bigger to feed larger families because that was one of the requests that they had. But mostly really ensuring that Ajidi is following closely the sale of the stoves and gaining customer feedback from what the village leaders, the women and the customers say. And also we wanna ensure that our women are being taken care of because now we employ about 34 women who make less than 10,000 shillings a month. So we definitely want to contribute to their income and currently we are. Therefore, we really want to make sure that um, Ajidi follows very closely every single, the income that goes to every single woman. And obviously, he manages the finances for Light Mountain together with a member of our team to ensure that the money is actually going to the people that need it the most. And we will continue doing that for the foreseeable future. So, like I said before, with the education program, we are trying to teach it. Um, on a monthly or bi-monthly basis so therefore we can keep that sustainable and keeping that lasting impact so it's not just one class we're teaching at a social enterprise we're creating a sustained teaching program so they are able to learn and grow from the information we provide them with with our hydroponic system it will be based on again the wants of the of people um, to provide that impact on a level of water and food insecurity. So that'll be coming from an innovative design and making sure that it's lasting, but also looking into different avenues on how we can make more products that are more innovative and more sustainable. Also, I just wanted to add to that with our NEAT groups, what we'll really focus on doing is trying to increase their employability for the future. So we really want to ensure that they have tangible proof of their advancements in the workplace. Therefore, we're gonna be working with the King's Engineering and Geography Department to provide them with an apprenticeship scheme with skills that will definitely increase their employability based on research such as 3D printing software and um, which we've seen that has very big benefits on employability. For the projects you presented today, how do you plan to grow and scale these in the future? With Light Mountain, we are going to, we are currently searching for an NGO and we are in contact with an NGO which operates in a different part of Tanzania than where we operate. Therefore, we want to have the NGO help us to expand in the regions in which they operate and potentially have a firmer, not control, but a firmer view over the villages that we operate in now and the new villages in which we operate because having them on the ground will really increase um, the way we're able to track the stove sales, we're able to track the inflows and outflows um, and ensure that the project is sustainable. Also, they will have a lot of information about uh, cultural norms and what families really require there, therefore making our project more uh, sustainable for consumer needs. So with HydroGrow, um, on a term of scale, we've started in one school, Francis Holland, with over 800 students. But our basis is to expand into a lot more schools and try and work our way through all of the schools that we've been in contact with. This then will allow us to scale up the amount of education we can provide on a sustainable basis. We've also been in the talks with someone for a company in Singapore, which is then looking to expand our education program into other countries so that could be a next point and in terms of keeping the project sustainable we're looking to make sure that our neat groups are well trained and have the skills to go ahead and with that being successful we can then expand into other neat groups or into other avenues to provide that sustained education to help employability in the uk that ends the question and answer period Thank you.